Yeah. Our listeners are familiar with coaching because I'm mm -hmm. an executive coach, have an executive coaching firm. And so in a lot of our work in coaching, we're helping them tap into leadership skills, building out their toolkit, being a sounding board. How is your work one-on-one -on -one a little bit different than that? You mean my work one-on-one -on -one with clients? Or correct, with, correct, with clients. Uh, yeah. With clients who are dealing with mental issues. Mm -hmm. Well, the difference there is is really I'm not so much a sounding board. Well, I am too. Um, but really what I'm helping them discover is, is what is it that's making them um, burn out in this case often. Um, my roots on this is, is usually emotion. So I start with emotion. And yes, we often have very strange convictions. Um, but changing someone's conviction isn't as easy as what people think. I mean, I can't just tell you, hey, you've, you've, you've had a lousy day. Just, um, just step over it or just think differently. Um, it's, it's easy to say that, but... It's, it's very difficult to put that in practice. Yeah. It doesn't feel so, so, for them to change. No. And, and so a lot of my work really has got to do with accepting the emotions that you experience, accepting that they're there for a reason. You don't even have to know what the reason is that they're there. Mm. Funnily enough, I think it's far more important trying to discover what they're motivating you towards you know, there, there is some sort of push behind each emotion saying hey you need something and trying to find out what that need is if you can do that then it doesn't really matter what the cause was because it helps you discover where you need to go to yep i like that so that's that whole realm of we cannot control what happens to us no. but we can control how we respond Sure, sure. Yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm.